uh, from SlideNet, this is Weaves. What's up, guys? Uh, you have been here, you've seen the last bit probably, and uh, you saw some hollow square being constructed, some stuff with asterisks. And uh, this bit, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the same thing with a different method. Uh, probably there were guys who looked at that method and saw why the hell is this guy doing this. You could do this with double for loops and blah blah blah. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this with double for loops. So this is what you have. If you say print star, you're gonna print one star. Put it in a for loop, j is one, j less than four, j plus plus, you're gonna print four stars, right? Put another for loop outside, i is one, i less than four, i plus plus, you're gonna print 16 stars, out of which we don't want these four in the bit center part. One, two, three, four, we don't want them. We want a blank hollow space. We're gonna see how it's done, all right? So here's the thing. Now if you say that print a star only when j is one or j is four, what happens is these stars in between get eliminated, all right? You're saying if j is 1 or j is 4, print the star, otherwise print space. It's pretty simple, right? right? But the problem is with this approach, these two stars over here and these two stars over here are missing, right? Now as you guys can see, i is a row over here and j's are the columns over here. The first row, we need all the stars. The last row, we need all the stars, right? So I'm also going to say i is 1 or i is 4. Then that print all the stars, otherwise print spaces. So as you guys can see, this will run and this will show you perfectly a square with hollow spaces in between. So now that you have understood how this works, so let's go ahead and NetBeans, get this baby up and running. Alright, so in NetBeans, I have nothing much, just an empty project. There's a buffer reader for taking input from the user. There's a size, which I'm going to ask the user to enter how many uh, sized square he wants. So let me go ahead and say, put the for loop. I'll say for control space. As you guys can see, there's a simpler way to do this. Just enter i equals to 0. We'll start with 1. We'll make things simpler. Remember, you can also start with 0. Not a doubt. No, no issues with that. i less than equals to size. i plus plus. All right. So again, I need another for loop. I'll say 4. Control space. j is uh, 1. j less than equals size. j plus plus. So now I'm going to just simply print a star and show you what exactly happens. Control S, Shift F6, Enter Size, I'll say 4. As you guys can see, all the 16 of them are printed in the same row. We need a new line after every 4 stars, right? So after this for loop, we put a new line. Control S, Shift F6, Enter Size, 4. So there you go. This We don't need these two and these two, right? So I'm going to put a condition over here. I'm going to say if i is equals to 1, which is if is the first row or if it is the last row or if it is the first column or if it is the last column I need a star right I need a star because as you guys can see there's the first row there's the last row and this probably makes the first column vertically so now otherwise what I need is a blank space so I'm gonna go and print copy paste this put a space over here alright now control s Shift F6, enter size, I'll say 4. So as you guys can see, this is also doing the same thing which I did in the last vid. This is probably a simpler method. I showed that because I felt that one was simpler. So if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.